Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to measure the weight with this module. It is 196 gram. Let's try another one. It is 119 grams. Let's try another one. It is 48 gram. Let's get started with this. I'm using this load cell. It got four wires. When we bring it closer, it rated 5 kg. And uh, there's an arrow here. We need to put the weight in here or in the opposite opposite side, like this, not on the side. I'm using this module on the other side, like this. The wiring diagram is here. From the load cell, there are four wires. There are two opposite pairs. Two opposite pairs has to go to E plus and E minus, and another two opposite pair has to go to A plus and A minus. Usually, it's red and black is one pair and green and white is another pair. Uh, from here, ground to ground, VCC to 5 volt and uh, PB8 to DT, PB9 to SCK. The data sheet is here. It can be found here. I'll give the link in the description. Uh, Everything is there. The coding is in the page number 8 here. This is how we get the data from the uh, HX711. Uh, I translated this code into htm 32 hell and uh, the count is returned in my milligram. Let's go to cube ID and do the coding. Now I have opened the cube ID. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Now we click file, new htm 32 project. For the commercial part number, we put F103C8. We can select this one. Next. For the name, I can put semi. Finish. Fix system core, sys. For the debug serial wire, RCC, crystal ceramic resonator. Go to clock configuration and change it to 72. Enter. Now go to pinout and configuration. Uh, select, uh, we can zoom in. PB9, GPIO output. PB8, GPIO input. Uh, for the microsecond delay, I'm using timers. We select timer 1, or timer 2, and clock source, internal clock. Configuration, parameter setting. We change to prescaler to 72 minus 1, that is 71. That's all the setting. We can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. Link is in the description below. We go there. This is the one. Uh, the code is here. In the user code 0, we copy from here until user code N0. Copy it. We go to user code 0. Here we paste it and user code 2 we copy these five lines. We paste it here and in the while loop we copy this line only and we paste it here. Now we can save. So in the starting, we start the timer and we set the clock pin low to power down. And in the user code begin zero, I have two pins set. You can change it if you want. This is the tear weight and the original weight, known weight, and the whatever it returns. I'll show you later. This is the weight we are going to measure. This is the microsecond delay. Microsecond delay function. This is the function uh, as they shown in the data sheet. Exactly I, I did it. So this way I got the data. And uh, in the weight function, I take the data 50 times to make the average. So it goes from 0 to 50. And then get the total and then divide by the divide by 50 and get the average 
and uh, we have the coefficient we set the coefficient get the weight in milligram now we can uh, use this button to debug uh, go debug select debugger go below make sure live expression is ticked apply okay switch uh, select the live expression and here type enter wait now we click this button yeah now we take this number this is the number there is nothing on the load cell there is no weight it's like a tear weight so we copy this number copy and we go there we go to the thing and the, in the tear weight we did zero and we paste it now we can stop and save and debug again now when we press this button now this will be around zero it should be around zero a small number so let's see how much we get yeah it's a very small number now we put the known weight I put the uh, motor Ninety-five grams. Yeah, this is the value I get. So we copy this one, and uh, we go there. We paste it here. We do this number one. And we paste it there. This is the one we know. We know that it's. Uh, 195 grams we put in milligram we put three zeros so now we can save so stop now it's all, all calibrated we can save now we can measure the uh, weights now we debug again press this button now we put the motor again to see, see the correct weight So the motor weight is 196 grams. Now we put the uh, that thing. It is 122 grams. Now I get soldering things. It's uh, 43 grams. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.